So, Theron, I've reached 10,000 subscribers, I've brought back the Jedi Knight, I've brought back PvK, I've started my Stronghold series. Um, what's next? Moving along. What? I, I, I'm asking you a question, I'm just asking you what's next! Oh, right! The Jedi Consular! Duh! You should have realised that, why didn't you just tell me that, Theron? God, why have you got to talk in mysteries? Let's move on. Hello, it's me, everybody, it is I, it's the Charlie Murray, and welcome back to Star Wars The Old Republic with Rise of the Hot Cartel with Strander, he's dancing, he's celebrating because he's returned, huzzah, he has returned people, say hello Theron, Indeed. that says hello, uh, it's been too long. But you know me, I'll probably stop after today. Seriously, somebody's called themselves Gay Lords. Gay Lord H. Okay. How did that slip through Bioware's name generator thingy? But, okay. Uh, so, if you remember all the way back to what happened last time, which I don't, so I need this to remember, uh, the Ark cannot be used to evacuate people because, of course, there was the Ark which Toboro was using, and it can't be used to evacuate the people of McKeb because it needs Isotope 5! So, we actually need to go to destroy a droid that is actually terrorizing the populace on McKeb. And maybe, I guess, I guess try and get some Isotope 5 from that, maybe? I don't know. Well, actually, no, because it would need a lot more Isotope 5 than just something from a droid. But hey, we need to stop them from, from uh, destroying the square. And I bet you anybody the square is actually circular. I bet. Because it's McKeb. McKeb's quite cir got quite circular islands. I'm going to have a drink. Mmm, this is a delicious drink. It's all juicy and... Well, what flavour is it? Apple and mango. Hmm, now J2O this time. Yes, yes. I've sort of stopped my energy drinks of my monsters and my tornadoes. I've stopped that for now and I've gone on to J2O. Yes, yes. You're flickering in and out of existence. Oh my god. Is he real? Is he not? <gasps> He's gone! Are we in the Matrix? I have no idea. Moving on! Hello! Do that. Do that. And then do that! Which did nothing. But hey. Ow, that hurt. I need to turn down my volume. My volume's quite high, actually. There we go, and now you can't hear it in my microphone. Uh, I took a little while to kill him. Hmm, okay. Um, right, so, obviously I am not doing any of the side missions anymore because, well, what's the point? Because, you know, you get a lot of experience from just doing just doing the class quest. And I get 34, ooh, I get 34,000 experience from doing the bonus mission. Eh, we'll see if we end up doing it just by getting from A to B, but I highly doubt because it's just over there we really need to go. I could probably just stealth. Of course, I'm a stealther. Just skip past them all. Wait, am I going the right way? I don't know. Uh, uh, um, no. Okay, I guess I've got to go this way around. Where am I going? I have no idea. I guess I'm going through here. No. Uh, well, I tried to follow the path, but there kind of is no path. Not really. Oh, that way. Oh, silly me. Oh, damn it. I've been seen. And Force Cloak. Aha! This is where we need to go with the awesome new barriers. I love it. Now, perhaps our friends at the Ark can finish their work in peace. <laughs> y y you're kidding, right? Heroic moment! Just because you might as well. It's... It'll be easier. Well, at least this droid isn't as bad as the one I did on a uh, Kranatoka that time. Remember that? Oh, that took me forever to do on the Imperial side. Obviously, if you're watching this side of the, the Republic side first and then going to my Sith Warrior to watching the McKeb stuff, well, then you'll realize, ooh, ooh, there we go. I got that. Um, and if you're going to uh, my, my, my thingy, yeah, the, what am I trying to say? If you watch on the Republic side of McKeb and then going on to the Imperial side of McKeb, you'll see how much of a nuisance that droid was. Anyway, hello, Mayor er 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 Erkins. What's the galaxy coming to? Huts invading, planets cracking in half, and now that. That. whatever it was. 
Uh, somebody tell me what that was. It was a droid. It appeared to be a droid, Mayor. What? Yes, I was thinking it was a shiny Wookiee on stilts wearing turbo lasers for a hat. A droid indeed. Now, who the blazes are you? So why did you ask? God. Take a deep breath and relax. You don't need to yell. I'm sorry, what? Well, I can't hear over the ringing in my ears. You know, from all the screaming and explosions. These are the reinforcements Shayla Mavesta told us to expect. They're here to help. This mace is already collapsing. Now, I've got wounded people everywhere, and all the working shuttle pads are outside town. Shalem can get more shuttles for the evacuation. What we really need is the one thing those huts won't give us. Time. Mayor, we're getting emergency alerts. The huts are landing reinforcements, mercenaries, and more of those droids. Lovely. I'm the one-legged woman at the droid kicking contest. They're holding the shuttle pads. We'll never get off the mesa unless someone drives the enemy off. Leave the hut forces to me. I'll open the routes out of here. You be ready to move your people. Just clearing off the pads isn't enough, though. We need to stop the huts from landing more reinforcements until we've all evacuated. We could erect energy shields, man. Erect. Cover the pads so they can only be used for flying out. Solaire, you're actually useful. If we got you some energy shields, could you set them up at each landing pad? Can't you just run for it once the shuttle pads are clear? Our wounded move too slowly. You've got to buy us more time. Gather the wounded, prep for evacuation on the double. We are leaving. Take these energy shields. Activate them at the landing pads. Good luck. Luck? I don't need luck. I have my heroic moment. Which is actually going to recharge in two minutes and I can use it all over again. Yay! And the best part is, I can just stealth the whole way. I know you guys don't like me stealthing. I know you want to see me actually attacking some enemies. But come on. You know how I attack? I attack terribly. I'm just... there when it comes to attacking. I just... You know. I might as well not attack than attack. Level 56. Lovely. Right, let's go to this one over here first. Actually, let's get out of the way and see what new abilities that we have, if we have any at all. We do! Uh... We, we we don't. Sorry, but what is that plus sign? You are lying to me, Ogrob. Okay, let's make our way into the first pad. Where are we going? It's like a maze. This way, can we just run past you? Ignore me, ignore me, ignore me. Thank you. Uh, ignore me, ignore me, ignore me. Thank you again. I bet by secure, I actually have to get rid of all of these enemies. Don't I? Yeah, probably. Hello! Although, oh no, I don't. I just need to. Oh, I just need to kill this guy. Actually, I wonder. I wonder. Land device secured. Um, okay, yeah, definitely secured. Yeah. So I could just run out of here and just be all like, "Yep, I secured it." Okay, fine. And you did. Oh wow, twelve thousand experience from that one enemy. Blimey. Well, next time I can kill it a lot easier because I'll just be using Heroic Moment. Uh, why do I forget that I can use my Rocket Boost in Stealth? I always forget that. I remember hearing that tip one time. It was a very nice tip. And it saved me a lot of time. Well, I say a lot of time. Just a little bit. Oh, uh, how do I get up there? Uh, 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 uh. I have no idea how I'm supposed to get up there. Okay, I've just gone back on myself. Brilliant, Charlie. Well done. Well done. I I'm very proud of you. Very proud of you. I hate my mind sometimes. It talks to me. Oh, silly me. As usual, I don't have my buffs up. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, you can do, oh, I can do my buffs while so, oh. I thought doing my buffs would take you out of stealth. Well, that's good to know. Good to know. I was wondering why I wasn't hearing any music. I didn't have it on. Silly, silly me. Even though, if I could just hear that nice wah, 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 in the background, it would just make my, my, my mind a little bit more soothed than before, you know? That way I'm not going, oh my God! But hey, it's me. I was wondering if after all these years you'd like to meet. To go over. Everything. Uh, can I stun a droid? I can't. I can force lift him. Yeah, let's do that, shall we? Force lift you. Okay, and... Oh, I can't actually secure the pad this time. Oh, you're actually stopping me from doing that. You're actually on top of it, so I have to actually attack you. Oh, wait, actually, no, no, cut, oh, no, there we go, I can just secure it now. Although you are quite easy to kill anyway, so, 
might as well just kill ya. Clairvoyant strike! There we go. I got only, oh, only 5,000 experience that time, but I get to scavenge you. Bado! Thank you. I got Mithra. And I'm now 195 in scavenging. Huzzah! You see nothing. And the final one. Uh, where's the thingy? Over there. Uh, aha! Oh, it's a bit dark out here, isn't it? Ooh. Maybe put some lights up? You know? Ooh, hello. Oh, there's a bunch of you here. Alrighty, and there's you. So, do not mind me. Just gonna do this. Boop. Thank you. And now it's secure. Yep. We're under attack in the central square. Help us! Okay. Helping you. Stealth. Whee! Uh oh! Run, run, run away, run the hell away. Run, run, run away, there's no reason to stay. Do you know, it's true what they say. The Republic side of Makev just really isn't that engaging compared to the Imperial side. The Imperial side is phenomenal. It's a good job I started with that first, because that was just really, really something. But the, the, the Republic side, it's just, hey, let's go save people. Yay, we save people. Huzzah! But the Imperial Siders were like, Oh, we need to kill that droid and then kill that droid and kill everyone here! Have I gone the right way? No. Uh, can I survive that drop? I'm trying it. Survived it. Now, what seems to be the big problem, people? Oh, perhaps that. Everyone's been made a prisoner. That's far enough. Thank you. Jedi should recognize an inferior bargaining position when they see it, yes? No. Please, the next ground quake could destroy this Mesa. Kill us all. Then let's keep the negotiations brief, hmm? We've done no harm to these people. All we seek is the droid's isotope 5 power supply. You're not taking anything. We destroyed that droid. We're keeping whatever's inside. He's not bluffing. He'll kill me. Okay. No time for debate. Let us have the isotope 5 or we'll be forced to execute the prisoners. I'm sure no one wants that. Uh oh. Uh, we need the isotope 5, but. You know, I get the feeling he's bluffing anyway. If I were to give him the isotope 5, he'll still, he'll still kill her. Um, but we, we're light sided. I mean, we do have the option to do some dark side sometimes in this playthrough. I'm not saying it's just full. You know, light side. This can be dark side every so often. Because, you know, Strand has kind of lost it a little bit. But hey, let's see what happens with the light side. I came here to save lives, not end them. Since you haven't hurt anyone, I can afford to be merciful. I knew I could trust you to see the light, Master Jedi. Men, it's time we were going. Thought we were deader than a depleted reactor. Thanks. I'm sure it wasn't easy letting those Imperials go. If the Empire gains an advantage because you let yourselves be captured, I'm holding you responsible. I'm a mayor. I'm used to being blamed when things go wrong. Ha! We get moving. I'll tell Shalem to expect wounded. Mayor, good to see you alive. I trust everything is under control? <laughs> no. This mace is falling apart under our feet and we've got wounded. We need a destination for these people right away. We'll have medics standing by at the refugee center, Mayor. Take your people there. I've set up a new camp near the Ark construction site. You have the coordinates. Meet me to plot our next move. Have you received any reports of other places under attack by Taboro? No. I think you embarrassed him. The Republic sent down a top engineer to review the Ark's schematics. He's made some interesting discoveries. Hurry. What have they found? Did I mention I'm a pacifist? Yes! About a billion, trillion, quadrillion, fillion, dillion, million... I already said million. Damn it! See, now there's no reason for me to go to the tax terminal when I can just quick travel to where I need to go. Oh! Don't you love it when quick travel can just solve all your problems? Hello, new campsite! Hello, Shalem! Ah, you're here. Good news. Tarlem's refugees evacuated safely. And no fresh reports of Taboro's droids. You bought us time, and we'll need it. This is Gazadar, one of the Republic's top engineers, and a brave man for coming down here. Of all the Jedi, you're the one I've been most excited to meet. I'd love to pick your brain about holocron design. <laughs> Boy, you're a slick one. I thought you were a scientist. 
Sounds more like you're running for the Senate. Well, I'm good with machines, but people are my real passion. Gaz just made it through the analysis of the ARC schematics. I'm sad to report that Taboro wasn't lying. The ARC was specifically built to run on Isotope 5. It's the only energy source capable of pushing that massive vessel through Maked's atmosphere. Those war droids Taboro sent to attack Tarlem also ran on Isotope 5. Maybe we could convert their power cores into fuel. You'd be acquiring it in such small amounts that we'd never get enough before Makeb's core goes critical. Then we need the real brains behind the Hut Cartel's operations here. Dr. Juvard Ilip Ogarab. And we know where he is. Whoa. The only five-time winner of the Beodur Science Prize is on Makeb? That guy. Are you saying he designed the Ark? Clearly. Probably those droids, too. Dr. Ogarab has been holed up at the Sanctuary Research Complex since before his people invaded. If anyone knows about Isotope 5, it's him. Why would a hut scientist help us at all? Isn't he with the cartel? Dr. Ogarab is well respected across the galaxy. For a hut, he's pretty reasonable. The Sanctuary Research Complex is one of the most advanced experimental laboratories in the galaxy. It's on an isolated mesa completely under hut control. There's no telling what sort of defenses a genius like Dr. Ogarab has there. And you'll be going in blind. There are data access terminals on Sanctuary's testing grounds. Try accessing one. It might let you disable any unwelcome surprises. Otherwise, good luck. I don't care how well defended Sanctuary is. I'm tougher. I'll have Dr. Ogarab back in time for dinner. Ooh, what I we have having? No plans to feed him. It would cost a fortune. <laughs> and please, for the love of science, don't hurt Dr. Ogarab. I didn't bring a way to preserve his brain. <sighs> Seriously, people, you're cold-hearted. Uh, right, what are we going for? We're going to go for... That! Yeah. Could just go for the crystals, but we're going to go for that. Yeah? Cool. And I'll get that reputation as well. There was also something else that I had as well that also granted me reputation in this, but I can't use that anymore. So, there we go. Right! Let's go meet the guy behind the hollow statue! Although, you know, it's kind of a spoiler, you know? Let's remember when Rise of the Hot Cartel came out to begin with and they were all like, Oh, you get this for being part of Rise of the Hot Cartel. Hooray! Well, the problem is is that this kind of was a massive spoiler to a character we'd meet at this point in the story. So, you know, we'd be getting like Dr. Ogrob and then we'd be like, Oh, so now we're going to meet the guy behind the hollow statue. Okay, but then maybe it's sort of like... Uh, you know, a statue of somebody you've never met, and then you're going to meet somebody. So, eh. Ooh, well, isn't this a pretty place? With all this fauna and animal life and enemies and stealthing and running past you. Uh, right. Do not mind me. I'm just going to tap into this and hack everything. Yeah? Yeah? You okay with that, people? It's high time you Republic agitators showed up. To borrow his brutes of this entire facility captive. I was wondering if you'd ever bother liberating it. Well, you're clearly Ogrop. The Republic sent me here to protect its people from a hot invasion. The word you're looking for is Defender. No offense intended. I'm confident you are quite the hero. There are many on this mesa being forced to work as slaves. We would be honored to aid your attack. We possess detailed data on the lethal security grid to borrow installed across the mesa. We'll help you destroy it so you can enter the main complex, and we can escape. If you have information, now's the time to share it. Things are about to get loud. I am transmitting data on several key objectives. Each will provide you ample opportunity to convey your displeasure with Taboro. Stand by. I'm already standing by. Been standing by since you started talking. You'll not only gain access to the main complex, you'll destroy Taboro's security grid. We'll speak again when you reach the main complex entrance. Right, so where are we actually going? We're going further into the complex. Oh, right, we need Look, to. Jedi. Oh, the credits that must have been lavished on research here. Sorry, I have something in my eye. Oh, oh, uh, were you tearing up? Okay. Aww, Theron! You're so cute when you're being you. Everybody, on the floor! Everybody do the dinosaur. Right, um, 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 this is the first thing I need, but can this not see me? Oh, that's good. Can I stun it? No. Oh, I'm going to have to kill it anyway. Fine, fine, fine. You will die, die, die. Woo! Oh, really? No, I'm not doing that bonus mission. 
thank you, but no thank you. Alright, the second one happens to be... All the way up there, seriously? God. Ooh, this looks pretty, whatever it is. Is this like a force field then? Can I get through this barrier? Uh, oh my goodness, it's a ranker. Is it a ranker? Looks like a ranker. Oh my goodness, how did they get a ranker here? Seriously, I have no idea. But why do I get the feeling we're going to have to attack it anyway? Why do I get the feeling this is the boss? You know, like on the Imperial side where I had to defeat that big droid. This is the Republic side boss. I get the feeling it's not going to be fun. And clairvoyant strike. And clairvoyant strike. Lovely. And do that. Seriously, more! More! Fine. Oh, it's little guppy lizards. Why can't I attack them then? I can. Oh, so I need to attack that one there to attack the attack, attack all of them. Okay. Don't see me. Don't see me. Good. 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 Yep. 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 As Ducky would. Is it Ducky? Ducky from the Land Before Time. Oh, I remember that. Yep. 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 Ducky. What? 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 Are their names? Uh, Littlefoot. Ducky. Petrie. Spike. Is it Lucy as well? Lucy, I think. I don't know. It's been it's been about ten or so years since I watched Land Before Time. So many, maybe even maybe even more than ten years. Do they still do that now? I remember I remember everybody being all like they've made like eighteen movies for it. But you know, if kids enjoyed watching them, smashing the <laughs> smashing. Uh, oh, I've defeated fifty opponents out of one hundred and fifty. Well, there we go then. Um, yeah. So there's that. Uh, Land Before Time. I used to watch it quite a lot sometimes. Uh, I never watched all the movies, of course, but it was a fun, it was a it was a good it was a good it was a good series to watch. Really good series to watch. And now it's just aged. I bet. Ow! How dare you? Actually, heroic moment because we're not using heroic moment anytime soon, unless of course we need to kill the ranker. Ow! You bastard. You're dead now. Did I get a lot of experience from you? I have no idea how much I just got from you, but hey, let's blow up this tower. Done. Next one. Woo! I oh, saw the entire map of Sanctuary. Huzzah. No, no, don't see me. Good. Uh, where do I need to go? I need to go through here, I think, so I can go up here and go across the bridge. I should probably give myself a stim pack, you know? Yeah, it's kind of silly for me not to give myself a stim pack. Um, right, some more of the lizards. Hopefully they don't see me. Good, and... Uh, there's always people... Oh, there's a lot more people this time. Uh, they're all going to see me, I bet. Oh, snap. Oh, wait, I can just use a remote moment, can't I? Of course I can. Just, you know, just generally kill you all. That's quite enough of that. That's quite enough of that, as Mary Poppin would say. Seriously, Theron just reminds me of Mary Poppins all the time. Seriously, it's just... One of these days I'll make a video just uh, just showing you the similarities between them. Right, where are we going now? Uh, that way. Okay. Do that. And I guess we're going past the lizards again. Joy. Uh, right. Do I just jump down? Yeah, I think I'm just gonna... Oh. Uh, okay, I'm on top of the bar. Oh, uh, oh, okay. Um, there we go. Ow, that hurt. Um, I was sort of trapped in the air then. I was like, oh, no. Security officer, sorry, but I must take your ID card wherever you be. You're there. I can't use my heroic moment, so I guess I'm just going to have to go with it. Boom. Draw it down. Yay, I need the card. Thank you. I could just take the card and run, but that's the... That's well done, funny. Charlie. You're not even attacking anybody with that. That's the only problem I hate about melee strikes is that you need to be in the area. Oh, no. Uh, right, that's that done. And take the security card. Thank you very much. Security card, not guard. Shut down the communications. Aha. There it be. The borough security grid is down. We're entering the main complex. Spandiferous. You've eliminated many of that bully's unforgivably barbaric thugs. But more remain inside the complex. Once you've eliminated them and disabled any internal defenses, we will evacuate Sanctuary. Your heroics are most appreciated, and we will return the favor. You better. It is obvious you came for the illustrious Dr. Oberon. You mean you? We're transmitting his coordinates so that you may quickly find him. Best of luck. Thank you, Ogrub. We'll come find you in a minute. 
And jump on here. And can I, can I, can I please, 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 let me get up there. No, I don't want to go all the way around. No, don't make me. Don't make me go all the way around. It's going to make me go all the way around. Damn, oh, I need to go there. Oh, okay. I need to go there anyway. Well, that has not made me a little bit embarrassed. So apparently I need to defeat all these enemies. Bloody, bloody, blah. Defeated them. Let's just pretend I've defeated them, yeah? Yeah, that's good. Uh, and go through here. I've killed all of you. Yep, you're all dead. Yes, I hope your families mourn you well. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, all of you are dead. Lovely. Uh, you, well, you're definitely dead, so you're not even activated, so you're technically dead anyway. La -de -da -de -da. Ah, that's a that's an obstruction. Now I need to get past that somehow by going this way. What? I wasn't even in range of your droids. How the hell did you take me out of stealth? You bastard. Hello, people. How are you? Well, you're all droids, but hello, droids. How are you? Really? A weakness for droids? Maybe smashing them, perhaps? Right. Thank you. Gonna destroy the defenses and open the secure lab door. Which is I guess through that force field. Uh right. Right, 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 right. Sorry, excuse me, thank you very much. Need to go and see Dr. Orgrob. Cause I know that's who we've been speaking to this whole time, because it sounds like him. I need more droids, not excuses. Perhaps you should have left me some isotope 5. What am I supposed to build your war machines with? Durochrome and Phobium? I am an artist to borrow, but I require proper time and materials to produce my masterpiece. Respect my process. Liar! The Republic and Empire have united against me, and now you've joined the enemy. I see who stands in your lab. The Republic hasn't made friends with the Empire, and the Doctor doesn't work for us. Not yet, anyway. You lie! You're all liars! But I see the truth. Listen to reason! Think! It is not too late to cut a deal with the Republic. There will be no deal. If you're not with me, you are dead! Why Ogrub doesn't just speak English? You can see why I was forced to lend my brilliance to your assault. I'm glad you're here. My apologies for the earlier subterfuge. Unnecessary contrivance. Taboro seized control of my defenses and was watching me closely. But I am no one's prisoner. You helped us defeat your own security grid. I thought your people only spoke in Huttese. All Huts can speak your language. We simply choose not to. Given the circumstances, I prefer to avoid linguistic misunderstandings. Fair enough. We have complementary goals. You want what Taboro possesses, and I wish very much not to die here. Provide me with transport off this doomed planet. I will aid your efforts to recover the isotope 5 fuel rods. And I guess are. you have a deal. Actually, I'm looting this place first. I'm taking everything <laughs> in your databanks and anything that isn't nailed down. Because why not? Just the same thing. Pity to let all this go to waste when the planet implodes. True. I have a personal shuttle here. It's large enough to accommodate us all. Thanks to you, we can now fly. We should leave before Taboro sends an army to kill us. Take me to your allies, and I will explain what must be done. Wait, did you just... Did you just go without me? Oh no, you brought me back. Hello, police car! Wee -oo, wee -oo. Uh, they're probably chasing a murderer. Probably. There I am joking about it, and probably somebody has actually been murdered for all I know. Uh, shouldn't joke about these things, Charlie. You really shouldn't. Especially when you're, you know, airing your opinions to the world on the internet. But hello, Shalim. Doctor, it's such an honor. I'm so glad we weren't forced to kill you. Don't make our guest any more nervous than he already is. The Republic only kills in self-defense. As I saw in our flight from Sanctuary, you specialize in artful property damage. Now that you're here, what can you tell us about Isotope 5? How does it fuel the Ark? Isotope 5. Tomorrow's great discovery at the center of Macab. Something truly unique in all the galaxy, and worth destroying this planet to obtain. Imagine a substance as light as shimmer silk, 
but stronger than Durasteel. It distorts gravity and electromagnetic fields so predictably that it can be refined into fuel. Isotope 5 has limitless potential to remake this galaxy. Those droids you battled were first generation prototypes. Playthings. So you're telling me that in the entire galaxy, Makeb is the only planet that has Isotope 5? Because of course you're always hearing about it that a lot of the planets in our solar system uh, can be made up of all the same substances that we have on Earth. Um, so you're really telling me that an entire galaxy of planets of, of so many solar systems that Makeb is the only planet that has Isotope 5. That I find hard to believe, but maybe we've just not found that planet just yet. Are you saying there are even more advanced versions of those droids? How many? What are their capabilities? Taboro has dozens of prototype weapons. Their capabilities vary based on whatever creative inspiration moved me that day. I crafted a beautiful set of Isotope 5 fuel rods to power Taboro's arc. Some of my finest work, but you'll never see it. Shaky shaky. According to my data stream, Taboro has increased mining production to maximum levels. McKeb's destruction will arrive far ahead of schedule. You have a spacecraft, yes? We should depart immediately. We won't abandon millions of McKeb refugees. You said you could help us get the fuel rods back. That was before I saw the latest updates on Taboro's drilling operations. The mining platforms are massive lasers drilling directly into the planet. Shutting them down would release core pressure and buy us time. Attacking the mining platforms would be suicidal. Even worse, it might kill me. Wait. Why do I get the feeling you're serious? Define suicidal. What does Taboro have guarding these mining platforms? With a steady supply of raw isotope 5, my former employer can power a multitude of devices designed to exterminate all trespassers. We need to deactivate all of Taboro's mining platforms. That's the only way to slow McKeb's destruction until we can get the Ark's fuel rods. I fear it won't be as easy as flipping switches. The platforms and their control rooms will be heavily defended. When it comes to body count, McKeb's ground quakes have nothing on me. I suspect that's not an exaggeration. I'll have a transport to the mining platforms prepped for you immediately. Keep us apprised of your progress. Alrighty, well I'll take one of these I guess. No, neither of them are good. I'll take the crystals and I'll take the reputation. Thank you for- Just kick me out, why don't you? I didn't leave the instance, I was halfway out the door and it was just like, oof, you get out you. Uh, so, next time we need to disengage platform Kita safeties. Which is over there, there's three of them all over there. So thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. No doubt I'll probably, you know, do another episode about 10 years or so, because you know me. And I'll see you next time. And a farewell from me and this lift to you.